Guys, I just heard... What's up, my immune friends? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Mist Survival. All right, guys, I came home. I slept through the night. I, I apparently need 20 leaves to make this uh, chicken coop. 20 freaking leaves. Now, pay attention, guys. I'm about to give you the number one tip in this game. This is by far the most important tip you will ever have in this game. It is, it's game changing. It's freaking game changing. All right, check this out. Go to your options menu. Go to graphics and turn your foliage to low. I'm getting more loot than I can carry. It's all over the place. All over the friggin' place. Everywhere the zombies died, uh, the infected died, right? There's stuff everywhere. Every friggin' where. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Once I'm done getting my feathers, I might switch it back because the game just doesn't quite look as good with it off. But oh my god, it's incredible. Incredible. The stuff I'm getting. Just, just sick. All right, I'm actually, I'm actually having to come back and drop stuff off repeatedly. Uh, by the way, I want to know if you can use potatoes. Uh, I do want to do one thing really quickly. I'm going to pause the video until I get the rest. I've got 13 feathers. I need, uh, I need 20. I'm going to pause the video until I get the rest. But before we do that, what I'm going to do is, by the way, I recorded this right after last video. So if you give me any tips on how to use my medicine to get better, uh, you know, I didn't see it yet. So just be aware of that. Anyway, um. What I want to do, I want to do one thing really quickly. Be, Ugh. Kate, 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 Kate. One of these days you're gonna walk in here, and I'm just gonna keel over from a freaking heart attack because you freaking gave me a freaking well heart attack. All right, please announce yourself before you walk in a room. Okay, pretty please with sugar on top. By the way, she's not getting any better. Um, let's go take a look at her really quick. Where is she? There she is. You guys also told me to make a bed for her, so I'm going to make a bed for her next. But um, yes. she's, her health's not going up. I don't know. I don't know. Um, she's not eating the food. She's not getting hungry. She's not getting thirsty. I'm not sure what's going on with her. Um, you know what I think? I think it's an early access game, and she's not working properly, which is fine. Perfectly, perfectly fine. Um, you know what? Okay, I want to also check to see if I can use berries in this thing. This thing still hasn't gone off yet. I don't know if it's ever going to work. Um, so let's just pick it up. Put it back down. Actually, I did not mean to pick it up, but that's okay. Oh, it actually stays activated when you pick it up. That's cool. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the... Uh, I'm going to um, deactivate the trap. I'm going to discard that. Oh, you can't use it. Okay. Well, now I'm gonna. Now it's going to suck if I can't use these. Oh, you can use potatoes. Okay, can you use blueberries? Okay, you could use blueberries. That's awesome. Activate the trap. Boom. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a lot more of those traps and just put them everywhere. Or maybe I should wait until one actually works. Because here's the thing with the traps. I want to see if they're going to work before I go mass producing them. I think that's a fair fair thing to say. I'm just seeing stuff everywhere. Here, let me let me do a little bit of looting with you guys. Just so you can see. See what I'm seeing. Just incredible. All right. Nothing mu not much over here. But over there, there was a lot of stuff. Let's just keep looking around. What we need is feathers. I'm looking for like big big money items and what I should be looking for is feathers. Not feathers, I'm sorry, leaves. I also need stone because we're eventually going to want to make our own um our own what is it called? Uh forge anvil type area and I think you need like 20 stones for that. I don't know what I need feathers for, but eh, you never know, you might need them for something and they stack. So, no big deal. Oh, see here we go. Yep, these are all um, infected drops. Just wonderful. Just wonderful. Guys, I just heard... I'm assuming that's Kate. I'm hoping that's Kate. It's gotta be Kate. Because the, the, um, the bandits only shoot at me, they don't shoot at Kate. So that's gotta be Kate. So, what I'm thinking is... I wonder if Kate, while useless against the bandits, will fight the infected. I don't know. That's pretty interesting. I'm just going to... The fog should be just about done. And then we're going to go down there and see what Kate's done to the <laughs> to the infected. We're going to see how many shells are in her gun. Hopefully she's got the unlimited ammo cheat. That would be wonderful. And there we go. Alright, let's see what uh, let's see what the deal is. Kate? Kate? How you doing down here? Oh, she's blasting him at the door. 
Where is she? Kate, you are a freaking beast. Kate, where are you? Kate, I need to apologize. I need to apologize, Kate. Where are you? Was she inside? I can't tell. There she is. Kate. Kate, Kate, Kate. You beautiful, beautiful NPC, you. Why isn't your health coming back, Kate? I don't know. That's the only thing I'm wondering. But let's see how much, how many bullets are left in this. By the way, I put one shotgun box in there. Uh, just so maybe that would entice her to shoot things. So let's see. Why don't you eat this food? Eat the food, Kate. Wish I could force feed her. Oh, you can give her armor too. All right, I'll worry about that later. All right, let's see what's in this. Five, wait. Five, six. Yep, yep. She doesn't use any ammo. That is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Actually, wait, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. I gotta make sure I do this right. Okay, number six. That's the shotgun she was using. Perfect. All right, Kate, take your shotgun back. So it looks like she's good against infected, but I could, I cannot get her to attack the bandits yet. Maybe she will now. I don't know. We'll have to see. All right, guys. Well, I do have a chicken coop ready to go. Where do you think I should put it? Maybe in this garage? I think that'd be a pretty good place for a chicken coop. Let's see how big it is. Let's see how big it is. Um, yeah, It's pretty big. Well, actually, it looks like it's... Uh, Looks like this might be a perfect spot for it, to be honest. Yeah, that looks like a perfect spot for it. All right, let me grab my uh, my mythical wrench that I've, that doesn't even, in, in, you know, not even in the game. And let's complete this sucker. Okay, this is awesome. This is awesome. I like the fact that I can put it inside, too. There we go. Oh, wow, that's almost perfect. I'm going to move this. And, um, yeah, that looks really good. That looks... Oh, yeah, that's my bucket. That looks really cool. Oh, wow, I like this. This is awesome. You know, I grew up on a farm. This is uh, pretty accurate. Pretty accurate for a chicken coop. All right, let's go get that noisy-ass chicken. Hopefully, he'll be quiet when he's in there. That would be wonderful. Thank you. By the way, when Kate came up here, she uh, opened the door and let the chicken out. So, <laughs> that was pretty funny. Now that Kate's actually contributing, it's funny. All right, come on. Come on, Bobby. Got to put you downstairs and let you uh, start laying some eggs. That's awesome. She she shot like six times, man. She went ham. She went absolutely ham. That was awesome. All right. So how do I do this? Do I just release them inside here or do I place them in there? I don't know. There's no door on this. I mean, is it, he'll get out, won't he? I don't know. Let's find out. Can you get out of there? Am I doing this right? All right, guys. It is time to make the refrigerator. Now, I've heard... Now, this is just secondhand information, guys. Don't kill me if I'm wrong. But I've heard that the generator takes 15 liters um, of fuel. And I think it's biofuel. Not positive, but I think it's biofuel. And it only lasts for 20 hours. Now, you guys saw what I got from, the, from that bear fat. There's no way I'm going to be able to run that, that generator on 15 liters of biofuel for 20 hours. It's just not going to work. I think this is kind of a waste of time. And I just wanted to let you know that before I did it. Because um, I'd feel guilty if I didn't. So let's go ahead and put the refrigerator in. Um, yeah, I kind of like it like that. Is it backwards? I can't tell. No, no, I think it was... No, no, it was backwards. I think it was backwards. I can't really tell. Well, I can always uh, I can always move around when I'm done building it. All right, let's start. Yeah. It's backwards now. <laughs> of course. Of course. That's okay. That is okay, guys. We have to give it a shot. I'm not going to use it until I kill a bear. Because I think the bear is where this thing really shines. Um, but, yeah, like I said, it, the 15 liters, like, um, when I put down my generator a couple of videos ago, I was a little confused. And um, I kind of worked it out. But it, basically, when you put down the generator, it's full of fuel. So that's why I was a little confused. So this thing has a lot of room in it. Now, I'm going to keep some food in there. I'll do transfers off camera, though. Um, there's one other thing I want to do before we end here. Um, I don't think I'm going to need anything else outside. She can... Kate, I really wish she'd come in. Because once she comes in, I could block... I, I use this to block the door. 
by the way. And it does keep the bandits out. But I got to be able to block these windows. Now, what am I going to do to block the windows? Well, I was watching Game Edge play. And Game Edge got a really cool tip from you guys. Now, I don't know if I'm doing this wrong or... I, I was kind of like watching at work. So I was helping customers while, you know, watching Game Edge play. So I don't know if I got this wrong. But I think he was using the livestock fence. Right? Is that what he was using? I think he was. I think he was. I might actually go back and watch the video before I make any kind of... Uh, definite builds here because i don't want to build the wrong stuff um people told me that all different kinds of ways to block the windows you could put um you could put uh uh lockers in front of the windows and all kinds of stuff like that but come on get in here Let, let's get her in here you could put lockers in front of the windows but i don't really like the lockers in front of the windows and i'm pretty sure it was the livestock fence that game edge said that everybody all, everyone in his comments was saying to use so i think i'm going to use that as well um, let me gather up some resources, and I'm also going to check the video to make sure that's the right stuff. I'll be right back. Alrighty, just check out Game Edge's video. Um, first of all, if you guys aren't watching Game Edge, you should definitely check him out. He's been doing this game too, and he's, his videos are freaking awesome. And uh, he gave me a good tip uh, from his commenters. You guys might have actually told me in the comments too, um, but I've been reading like hundreds and hundreds of comments a day. I read them all, but I don't always remember them all, so I apologize for that right off the bat. All right, so let's come on in here. We're going to need some of this stuff. We, um, we're going to go ahead and make some sticks as well. Can we assign... I wonder why we can't assign her to work on this stuff. Maybe we can only assign her to work on stuff on the workbench, maybe? I don't know. Let's just craft that myself. And we're going to get these windows nice and blocked up. Now, the the bandits weren't trying to get in the windows or anything. So I don't know if they do. Maybe they didn't see me. I'm not really sure. Um, but the bandits weren't trying to get in the window. But the, um, the infected will. So I don't know if this is going to work. Like I said, guys, let me know in the comments. Um, seems like a pretty cool idea. If it'll work, and we just put the livestock fence right here, and then we kind of line it up. There we go. Uh, let's line it up a little bit better, a little bit more. That looks pretty good. And, um, yeah, I mean, that looks good to me. Right in the window. And then we just go ahead and craft it. And there we go. Yeah, maybe it'll keep the, uh, the infected out. We'll see. We shall see. Let's get this tire out of the way. Get out of here, tire. By the way, I think I'm going to make a uh, um, secure storage locker, and I'm going to explain to you why. Um, uh, it's not so much to keep the zombies out of my storage lockers. Uh, it, it, it's not so much to keep as the uh, zombies, really, Cage. Let me try this one more time. It's not as much to keep the bandits out of my loot as it is to um, the fact that the storage lockers offer you more space. The uh, secure storage lockers offer you more space. Um, I don't know if there's any difference in the red lockers um if you guys could let me know that that'd be great is there any difference between this locker and this locker in storage i don't know but for one gear i get more storage it's almost kind of worth it to me at this point so let me know in the comments what you think about that guys your tips are amaze balls and um i really look forward to them so keep them coming guys keep them coming all right so let's go ahead and put this one in okay there we go all right. I keep thinking that's like a, a basement. That would be awesome. And I think we have one more to go. All right. There we go. Uh, a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. Okay. And there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, we've got a lot more time left on this video uh, than I thought I would. So I'm going to sleep through the night. Try and get this wounded leg the heck off me. And then um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide what to do in the morning. We might go looting. We might do some more building. I'm not really sure. Let me just sleep through the night and I'll come back in a minute. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and make the moon shine still. Why not, right? That sounds pretty freaking cool. Now, that's not something I would make inside, right? But I do want to put some stuff down here, though. There's a, The whole area down here is really just kind of, you know. Um, yeah, I'm going to build this inside the hell with it. This room is all, like, empty and stuff. So, now this will have a fire going, but, I don't know, like I said, I want I want to do something with this room. So, let's go ahead and build this. There we go. Check it out, Kate. How do you like my moonshine still? How do you use this? I have no idea. Some people are saying you need potatoes to make the, uh, to use the moonshine still. So, oh no, we need sugar. Which kind of sucks, because sugar is, um, a limited resource. So, what are you going to do? All right, so let's go get some sugar, some bottles, and some water. So how do we have the water? 
oh, does this count? Does this water count? Can I use this kind of water? And that says 10 liters. I don't want... Well, I do have 10 liters on me. Moonshine was originally a slang term for high professional distilled spirits. You might be wondering why I haven't used a bandage on my leg. It's because I'm trying to save my bandages, like another finite resource. So um, sugar and found bandages are going to be limited on what we can find out in the world. Uh, so I'm just kind of trying to save them as best I can. Um, save them for when I'm like bleeding out, basically. Is there any way to stop bleeding besides the bandages? I don't usually look. I usually just bandage up. I'm thinking the only way to stop bleeding is with the bandages. And if, the, if that's the case, once you run out of bandages, every time you get shot, you're basically going to die. Uh, am, am I wrong about that? I, I don't know. I might have my facts um, a little wrong about that, but I don't think I am. Do we have any? Uh, there's our sugar. Okay. At least the sugar doesn't go bad. That's nice. All right. So let's come on down here and I'm going to pick these up. They're just in the way now. Kate's really uh, impressed with this thing. Hey, Kate, how's your hit points doing? I don't know. She's not doing anything. She's not eating or anything. I think she's upset. I think she's upset because I told her that she eats too much. She's probably got a like a weight thing now where she doesn't want to eat anything. Kate, you're getting skinny. You're too skinny. Eat something, please. I don't want you to die. And it's not that I don't mind you being skinny, but I just don't want you to die. All right, so we need to give this thing water. So let's do that. Let's come on out here and uh, see if we can get some water. Okay. All right. Did this thing go off? Nope. Is this thing ever going to go off? I don't know. Maybe it's in a bad spot. Could be. There's our chickens. All right, chicken's still here. So how do you get the eggs? Should I not have put it against the wall or... Like, how do you get the eggs out of this thing? I guess you probably just see them in there. Yeah, let me know, guys. Where do I see the eggs? Should I replace this? Because I'm thinking maybe I get the eggs from this side, the part that's right against the wall. Possibly. Possibly. All right, so water. Come to me. We're going to make another one of these things to put in front of the door that doesn't, that we're not actually using water with. So, all right, so what we got to do now is we got to fill this sucker up. I think I got to, I want to fill up the bucket first. Now, do I need clean water for this? Let's see if we need clean water. I'm pretty sure we do, but I'd like to know. Uh, where's the bucket? Did I leave the bucket in the thing? Yes, I did. Man, I do that a lot. I've seen other people do it too. So I don't feel too bad, but... Kind of leave the bucket in there. I don't know why. It's it's kind of a weird mechanic. I don't think any other game I play does it like that, so... Alright. Give. Nope. It's got to be clean water. I thought so. Because the little blue, eye, the blue drop there looks like clean water. Which means we got to get this thing going. I think I have enough clean water to maybe do something with that. But we're going to have to get this thing going. So, where my bucket? But let's uh, let's go ahead and fuel this. Keep that going. And the reason I'm going to keep it going is because I want to get a lot of this charcoal. Um, I also had uh, animal fat in here left over. But look at that, man. Like, 0. 0.74 liters? Like, oof. That's not much. That's not much. But it's not nothing. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh... Okay, this isn't do this isn't done yet. That's gonna take a while, I guess. Still no eggs yet. Still no eggs. Again, guys, I'll read your comments. I'm just, you know, kind of checking. Alright, my inventory is just a pigsty. You wanna see something funny? Check this out. This is how I work on the uh the, the swing set now. I just keep going like this, right? Keep going, keep going, keep going. And then when I get when I get out of stamina, I sit down. Five minutes. Full stamina. Pretty cool, right? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to chop this stuff down now. Okay, guys. Just looking around the woods for the fat loot. For the fatty fat loot. Basically what I'm looking for most is ammo. Pills can go to hell. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll take a potato. The hell with it. Can you cook the potatoes? Maybe I can cook them. I don't know. There we go. Some nine mil. I like it a lot. How much um, ammo does this freaking thing hold? Because I got like 17 in it. I can hold like 20. 
24? I don't know. I don't know, man. Just keep uh, sticking more ammo in here. Better start laying some eggs, Bobby. Damn you. Alright, let's see how this thing's doing. Yeah, this is taking forever. I don't think I'm going to get to this today. That's a bummer. I was hoping to... I was hoping to do something with the um, with the mo the moonshine thingy today, but probably not going to happen because it is taking a forever. And I'm just pouring stuff in here. There we go. All right, looking good, looking good. All right, let's make uh, let's make a secure storage locker. Call this a video. Oh, you know what? We can't. We don't have um, you know we don't have the gears and I'm getting I don't really like going over to the farm repeatedly um I was thinking about making a uh forge thing what is it called I was thinking about making this here um but I don't think I have enough component actually maybe I do have enough components make that tomorrow oh actually I do have enough components yeah I think we're gonna make that tomorrow I think we're gonna make the forge thing here so we could start you know um smelting stuff while we're here and not having to go out um but i think um i think tomorrow is going to be a loot run video i'll probably make the forge maybe do a couple things around around here but i kind of want to do another loot run video i like getting out there maybe um maybe we'll go after the uh bandits again I'm not sure i'll think about it but either way guys if you end up enjoying the video please remember to uncage that like button also if you're new here please subscribe for more daily videos thank you very much for watching i will see you next time and until then take it easy